Hey guys, I'm Ozia and welcome back to another creative build episode. Today we're going to be going back into Reactor Craft, of course. Uh, I would have had last, uh, the last save, except I was messing around and um, stuffed it. Uh, and I can't wait. But anyway, on to reactors. We're going to make one, hopefully one that won't explode this time. Actually, hopefully it will explode later on. Not so quick. Yeah, anyway. Alright, so let's just uh, start by jump, jump. Oh, actually, I can. I'm cheap mode, I forgot. Do it. Okay, it's gonna build off the ground, of course, again. Okay, so we're gonna get a steam bore in the center. Now we're gonna run the. Ooh, I was gonna get the fluid pipes I've got. Peace, if you're wondering where I got that raw pork chop from, it's from that uh, media strike just to the side of us that I shall show in one moment. That I was just sitting there and it landed on top of me and there's a pig next to me. So, poor pig. Okay, we got there first. Okay, doop doop. Okay. Supply some water. Oh, no, not that one. There we go. So now we're going to be trying to do a... Um, we're going to get more power out of the... Out of the reactor. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to start with the design we had beforehand where we just had uh not like that three eight on the outside but this time we're gonna multi-stack it so as you can see it is a multi-block because the i do the textures do connect you can see there so we can go cool 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 and then cool oh. Core, 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 core's light beer if you know what. And then steam great pipe out top. Doop, 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 doop. Oh, should really go in this direction, shouldn't I? And then down, 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 down. There we go. Steam grape. One more. Turbines. Turbine, 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 turbine. Okay, get rid of these. Okay. Dynamo. Dynamo. Doo doo doo. Doo doo doo. Okay, there we go. Producing zero power at the moment, yay. Goes there, yep, yep, yep. Uh, let's get an angular transducer while we're here as well. Need that. Okay, so these things are actually multi block structures too. So if we get, if we just shift click and again and again, it now fills up once below it. So you can put hoppers on the top of these to automatically refill. Okay. We need some more. Where is it? There it is. Okay, you start powering it, which do do what are the temperatures? 102. It's getting hotter. It should start working soon. There we go. What do we got? 1 million, 2, 3, 4, uh, 10. 30. Okay, so it's doing what we had in the first one. Okay, going up. 70, 80, 90 million, 100. So it's doing better than the first one, and it is night time, so. Okay, 100 and. Yep, 200. 
300, hmm, 400. I believe this one should go up to about 900 in the daytime. Let's go daytime. And that's 600 million watts. Uh, yeah, so the um, grass isn't dying yet. Maybe it's not close enough to the reactor. Okay. 800 million watts. That's pretty good. Okay. Now on to our next thing we want to do is let's up, look up hoppers. Hoppers. We need hoppers. Hopper. So as you can imagine, these things do create uh, nuclear waste. So we're going to have to get rid of that. So we're going to go hopper. Hopper, 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 like that, and let's get some item ducks. Should spell it correctly, yes. Okay, at mod reactor core. At mod reactor. And what we want is we want spent fuel container and nuclear waste. That's what we want. Put the nuclear waste one down. And we want some servos. Don't we, don't we? Servo. Okay, there we go. And so in there. Just so we can redstone it and so that's some coming out and that will go into our nuclear waste disposal uh, what's okay okay so the nuclear waste disposal uh, stores uh, the nuclear waste that's see how it's got a half-life of 28.9 years so anything that's got a half-life of more than a year, such as this one that's like 211,000 uh, half-life, and this one of 1.5 zirconium. Didn't they used to put zirconium on watches? I think so. Okay, and it should, no it hasn't got any reactor less than that. That's alright, okay, now what we're going to do is we're going to deal with the um, What's it called? Uh, the the nuclear waste that's got a, a half life of a year or less, and that goes in the spent fuel, which is this which one? Where is it? Not that one. This one. And there, there. Now this one has to be submerged in water, or else it ex pretty much heats up and explodes. So, which is a bad thing. So, how do we automatically get it to uh, enter in that? Okay, we don't uh, Let's go chest. There's a temporary space for it. Okay. We haven't even got any, have we? No. Uh, Remote IO is what we need. Remote. Okay, we need a remote IO block and we need the the linker. There we go. Get rid of this chest. Okay, remote IO, we need an item upgrade, item upgrade, that's it. Shift click on that to get the starting process and then click there. Okay, we should be able to link things to get a higher, uh, a lower half-life. So let's find some at mod.reactor. 
So the things that are pretty bad are things like no, it's not that one. Here we go. Xenon 135. Half life of two hours. That's what's in man why is that a million years? I don't know. Sixty-five hours, so let's get that stuff up and let's just put that one in there and let's grab some of this stuff okay now it should bypass this one yes it does in there and it should go into there here we go okay what temperature is that at 25 degrees celsius that's good Okay, it's not going to explode. Okay, so uh, that's essentially how you do uh, a, a proper reactor, a fission proper fission reactor. Uh, it's a basic setup. And uh, I did promise we were going to explode stuff, didn't didn't I? Okay. Look at it, they're slowly moving. <laughs> and apparently our boiler, steam boiler temperature at 300 degrees, is uh, still working. Because the, the water pipe is still going into it, hilarious I think. Is it? Well, there we go. I think that's about it for today, guys. That's uh, that's how you explode a big reactor. But uh, generally, that's that's how you get about nine hundred million watts. I think this is glitched out. No, it's going down. And uh, I don't know. Anyway, that's how you essentially get more power out of your reactor by adding more cores, but by stacking them on top. Um, I did notice something something uh, physics wrong with how the neutrons come out is that they come out on a 2d plane right where they should really come out on a 3d plane as well so it should there should be some going up and down at the same time to affect the cores above it or something like that maybe uh someone correct me if i'm wrong all right yep i think that it's glitched out Yep, it's glitched out. <laughs> so I hope you like the guy. There, that's right. I hope you guys like you guys, uh, or something like that. Yeah. So I hope you guys like the episode. Um, so let me know what you want to see. Uh, next episode. Oh no, it's working now. Next episode, we're gonna have a play around with uh, media craft, and we're gonna get some of these medias medias to drop, of course. And we're going to play around with the, uh, I think, the force fields inside Reactor Craft as well. And until next time, guys. Uh...